We went back into his den to watch the game, and before we watched the games, he said, I'd like to share some things with you. And he sat in his, his chair by his desk, and he pulled out this manila envelope, and he started reading the poems that he had written for Nellie, for your grandmother, when she was in the hospital. And I was, I mean, I, it was like time just stood still. Everything else faded, and it was just Coach's words. And he had tears coming down his face as he was reading these poems, and he stopped, and he turned to me, and he said, Honey, I feel very comfortable with you. And I said, Coach, you could not have paid me a better compliment. And he finished reading the poems, and it will be a day I will always remember. He did read the poems, um, lots of poems, and it always amazed me that he could recite poetry without looking at it. He could remember the starting lineup of his baseball team and of every player except the catch. I think they're all Polish names, and he remembered everybody's <laughs> name, and he'd recite it. His door was always open, and you wanted to go in and talk to him, and he always had people at, at his apartment, so uh, I was just grateful to be one of them. He took pride in working with every single person. He walked into an arena and there was a, there was a custodian here, there was a ticket lady here. It, Coach was smiling at people, he was acknowledging them. And that, what, a, what a lesson for me in my own life is acknowledging people. I'm a school teacher, I teach little nine and 10 year olds. But you know, I know they come to school and, and, and many of them are downhearted, they've had a tough day at home, uh, the parents. I mean, look at the problems that uh, families are under today. And just to acknowledge them, you know, to, to know that you care about them. And that's one of the things that I loved about Coach is that uh, he used to tell us, no one really cares what you know unless you know that they care. And it, isn't that true? When you guys care about things, people know that. They notice that and they care about you because of your caring for them and what they know. So just those lessons. I mean, yeah, I was, I was a player. You know, you can talk about, uh, you know, statistics and things. And, and sports people love to talk about stuff like that. But to me, it, it doesn't change. And I just want you to know, that's what Coach left with all the people that he touched. I mean, the people care about others. So uh, I never want to lose sight of that, you know, as long as I live. So my favorite expression, and I, and I tell people it's easy for me, uh, it's amazing how much can be accomplished when nobody cares who gets the credit. And uh, talking about individual play, basketball's a team sport. Gymnastics a team sport. I mean, of course the individuals have to do well. but what does it all mean if you're not all pulling for each other, if you're not all there? And I want you to know something. He accomplished much more in the 35 years after his coaching than he did in, as a coach and, and raising uh, John and Nan. He accomplished so much more for people. And I'm sure most of you that have met him afterwards will agree with that.